Salut et Seven et bienvenue au corps pour aujourd'hui. Alors, mes petits, we're carrying on with our revision today because next two lessons, <laughs> you're going to have your end of year seven exams. You're going to do a listening first, which we'll work on a bit more today, and you're going to do a reading as well. Those two assessments are coming. Now, remember what I said last time. These assessments, year seven, they don't count. So don't worry. They're just for you to test your learning, to see what you're strong at, to see what you need to improve, and then you need to go away and focus on that. With us, it's dead simple. If like you're, you're not very good on module two, go back and revise module two, and then for the assessment, you'll be ready. So that is what I said. That's why assessment is created for in the first place. It doesn't matter what grade you get. It's all about showing you what you can do, and you know that I'm really pleased with your effort year seven and I've always said when I've taught you when we were together back in school just how impressed I was with how hard you'd worked and how quickly you'd learned from September when we learned a few words in French to the sort of things we're doing now is a crazy so nothing to worry about you've done really really well this year and hopefully you'll enjoy well, not really enjoy but you'll get a lot out of the assessments next week today then we're going to do a bit more revision but we're moving on to modules two and three, something we haven't seen since January module two. We're going to mainly focus on that. But before all that, let's start like we always do. Alors, yes, seven, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. S'il vous plaît, mes petits, copiez la date, copiez le titre du genre. Et pour le contrôle de post-it aujourd'hui, c'est un peu de révision. Alors, donc, comment dire un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six en français, s'il vous plaît? 1, 2, and 3 are from module 3, 4, 5, and 6 are from module 4. Be careful with 5 and 6, they're in the, the upper end of our difficulty for year 7. Bon courage, mes petits. Allez, on y va. Put me on pause. When you're ready, restart the video. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, so if you're listening to me now, you've had a go at our post it note challenge and you've got the date and title in your book. Let's see what we can do today. So, just like last lesson, we're going to do some vocab work on some classics from module two and three, what we call must knows year seven, stuff that you've really got to know at the end of year seven for your French progress. Then we're going to do just two activities today to develop your listening skills, two practice activities like last time, so you get a feel of how this exam works, what you need to do, how to listen to it, what the traps are. That's going to really improve you. So all of that is coming today. Our extra challenge, like last, last time, I told you about some techniques that I used when I was learning French and what I did with unknown words where I wrote them on a post-it and I stuck them on my mirror and then every time I looked in my mirror I'd look at the words make sure I knew them and that's your extra challenge today I want you to write down at least 10 words you didn't know today or 10 words you're unsure about and then put them somewhere that you look at a lot and make sure you're checking them so that's extra challenge today let's go back to our contrôle de post-it how did you get on here? Tough, wasn't it? Let's find out. Alors, because it is, c'est parce que c'est parce que c'est because they are, c'est parce que ce sont. So remember our difference between c'est and ce sont. It is, they are. Numéro 3. Do you like? There's three different ways to say it. You can either say aim to, like you, to aim. I've done this with the letters to remind you. You go up at the end to make it into a question. So, Tu aimes le foot? You like football. Tu aimes le foot? Do you like football? See what I've done there. And then finally, my favourite way in French, they say, is it that? And then you just say like the statement, est-ce que tu aimes? Is it that you like? Those are our three ways to ask the questions. If you got all three of those, I'm really, really impressed. If you didn't, don't worry. I'll give you three bonus marks for that. Then numéro quatre, I do, c'est je fais. I like doing, j'aime Where's it gone? J'aime faire. And then finally, we do is new faisons. Worms to iron in, it ch -ch -ch changes. And that's our pattern for this verb. Allons, mes petits. Bon effort ici. You're now a vocabulary. What we're going to do now is put you to the test. I've picked 30 words in total over our two modules. I want to see how much you know and what you can do year seven. Alors, mes petits, donc, regardez l'écran. Ici, j'ai 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 mots. Ici, est-ce que vous les connaissez? Right, guys, put me on pause. You've got 30 seconds. Work through each one. 
can you say all these words and then think about a category you're in now compared to last lesson i've made this a lot tougher i think a lot more of you will be in green put me on pause now at 15 how many of these do you know Hello, right guys, I reckon a lot of you are one to eight today. Let's make it a bit easier for you. Et voilà, donc maintenant c'est la même chose. So, same thing again, put me on pause, see how many you know, pause me now. Hello, mes petits, right guys, hopefully you've got more. Let's put you to the test. So you can pause me again if you don't feel like you've prepared enough. Remember, you're in control of these lessons. Let's see what we can do. Alors, cette fois, il faut dire anglais, puis choisir, il faut choisir le français, anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais, français, rapidement. Par exemple, do you like, aimes tu do you love, adore-tu, drama, le théâtre, uh, PE, le PS, French, le français, I love that, j'adore ça. Uh, we love that. News and Ronsa. So good, guys. I got up to seven. Let's say today your survival mark is, let's say, 12. If you get past 12, you have survived today. You can still go to the end and keep going to 15, but 12 is your survival marker. You've got just 36 seconds to get up there. You know what to do. Pause me now if you need more prep time. If you don't, we'll start straight away. Bon courage. En commençant. Toi, deux, un, allez. It is fast today, halfway through the first column. And the first column's gone, so you're happy, mes petits. And final column only, allez, 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 allez. Et toi, deux, un. Et c'est fini, right guys, did you get past 12? Well done if you did, bon effort. If you didn't, why don't you just have another go, rewind the video and try again. These are module two must knows. Let's put them together with our module three must knows now. Et voilà mes petits, exactement la même chose. Mais because you did module three more recently, I've been a bit tougher on our first activity. So this time, <coughs> just like before, I want you to count up how many of these do you know? I've given you the first letter only though. They're in order. See if you can work it out. Let me show you what I mean with the first one on my computer. They're in order. Sur mon ordinateur. I put photos on Instagram. Je mets les photos sur Insta. I go on social media. Je vais sur les res... How did you say? Social media. I download. See what you can do. Put me on pause and I'll show you like the mark scheme after. Allo mi petit. Right guys, if you're listening to me now, you've gone through these at 15. How many did you know? I think you'll all be in the green category. I really advise you to do some revision on module four. Sorry, on module three, because it's the one that we started at school, but it's the one we've basically done all throughout lockdown. So this will be the one you need to get on to memorize and revise in as much detail as possible, guys. Don't worry if you're green, you will work it out. Let's put you to the test. Alors, mes petits, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. Cette fois, je vous ai donné les mots maintenant, donc c'est plus facile. Il faut dire français, anglais, oh, pardon, anglais, français, anglais, français, rapidement, mes petits. Par exemple, on m'a copié sur mon ordinateur, I put photos on Insta, je mets des photos sur Insta, I go on social media, je vais sur les réseaux sociaux, I download, je télécharge, drip very often, très souvent. See how fast that was, guys. That is what I expect. I wasn't even trying then as well. So, see what you can do. Put me on pause now, prepare yourself, and when you're ready, restart me. Allons, mes petits, et on commence un, ça, deux, un, wait for it, un, allez. First column's almost gone. And second column's gone. This is fast today.
Et voilà, alors bonheur pour mes petits guys, excellent effort if you didn't get to the end of this. Just rewind the video, have another practice and see what you can do. A really, a really, really good effort here. You seem to know the vocab, so let's talk about our exam technique. Alors mes petits, so <laughs> we can take our vocab off. We're now looking at modules two and three and developing these listening skills. Do you remember what I taught you last lesson about when it comes to listening and what you need to do? You're going to be listening next week and today to some really long, complex pieces of French. You're not expected to know every single word. Rule number one, accept it. You don't need to understand every word to go for it. The top marks will go to people who can work stuff out in French because that's what you have to do in real life. When you go to France, you won't understand every word someone's saying to you. You just need to understand enough to, to get the meaning and to answer back. So accept you won't understand every word today. Work out the gist and listen out for keywords. Even if you don't understand it all, can you get the idea of what it's on about? And is that enough to get you the mark? Usually it is, that's what you need to do. Survival tip four, never, ever, ever, leave a blank year seven you don't need to leave blanks trust your gut trust your feeling and go for that answer and on me petit right guys it'll be the same as last time i'm gonna go through each activity you're gonna go and do it and then we'll look at the transcript and mark it together allo mi petit et ceci c'est activité 1 donc lisez tu la question il dit listen to mathilde saying what she likes eating in the school canteen what does she like on each day? So here I've got the days of the week. Look at this. She's going to say what she eats on these days. Be careful. On Wednesday, there's two things. And on Friday, there's two things. So first things first, get rid of that example. Pizza has gone. Look at what else we've got here. You'll need to work out what it all is. And then remember, you've got two minutes preparation time before each activity so in my two minutes prep what I do is I spend my time writing the French next to all these pictures right and if I couldn't remember some I'd look back on my vocab sheet because it's not cheating it's just practice today so let me go through them quickly what they are in English B is a burger C is obviously chips D is fish obviously E is a hamburger F is an ice cream. Do you remember that word? I told you it was really important when you go to France. The ice creams are amazing what they sell. Uh, G, we call this as in English as well. It's like chopped up vegetables. It's called um, crudité. H is obviously a yogurt. <laughs> I is chicken. Funny looking chicken like that. And then J, remember this. It's a lemon tart, which is called in French a tarte au citron. And that's what we call it sometimes in English as well. They say like in a bakery, they say oh, it's a tart au citron. A lemon top right guys so you need to write the French next to these prepare yourself put this video on pause and then load up the sound file the exam means you have to listen to it two times you can either listen to it twice or it doesn't matter today if you listen to it three four times just to really check the meaning it's completely down to you when you think you've got the answers restart this video I'll show you the transcript and we'll go through them Good luck, Year 7. Bon courage, hein? On y va. Hello, mes petits. If you listen to me now, you've had a go at this listening activity. Here, en bleu, on a la transcription. Donc, s'il vous plaît, read through this. Pay close attention to what I've highlighted. Check your answers and put the video on pause when you think you're ready, when you've checked your answers and you're happy with them. Or if you're unhappy with them and you want to you wanna know, restart the video and I'll go through les réponses. Bon courage, put me on pause now. Allo mes petits, so let's go through it and see what we've got. So remember, lundi was already gone, on mange de la pizza, look at all those olives on a pizza, a bit of a strong flavour in olive, voilà that one was gone. Let's look at mardi, il dit mardi je prends une glace à la fraise, so fraise is strawberries, Une glace is this keyword. It means an ice cream. So you should have, oh, it's all of it. <laughs> you should have F. And then mercredi, there was two. It says, je mange du poisson. En désert, il y a du yaourt. So I have fish and yogurt, D and H. Jeudi, il y a des crudités. 
we call this the same in England. Crudité is like chopped up cucumber, carrots, some salad. It's good for you. You can dip it in like the Greek stuff like hummus or tzatziki. Et finalement, le vendredi, c'est mon jour préféré. What does that mean? C'est mon jour préféré. If c'est ma matière préférée, is this my favorite lesson? What's ce jour? What does it mean when you say bonjour? It means hello, but it literally means good day. Jour is a day. So c'est mon jour préféré means it's my favorite day. Whose favorite day isn't Friday? Uh, il y a des frites et en dessert de la tarte au citron. So it's chips, C, and tarte au citron, J. G. That is a good uh, Friday meal, that. Right, guys, so give yourself a mark out of six for this activity. Food will definitely be coming up on your end of your assessment next week, just so you know. So if you didn't know these foods, <coughs> you have to look at your vocab test to re revise them, get on memorized, get on foods. This is a must know for year seven. All right, guys, first listening down, let's look at our next one. Et voilà, mes petits, donc c'est beaucoup plus compliqué maintenant. We're going to listen to three people and they are going to mention two things each. So you're going to take two boxes for William, not including that. You're going to take two boxes, two boxes for Juliette and you're going to take two boxes for Ahmed. What you need to do is listen to them and they're going to say two of these things. So what you need to do in your prep time this time, translate what this says. French is my set favorite subject. How do you say this? We just looked at my favorite day. How do you say my favorite subject? School finishes at 5 p.m. How do you say 5 p.m.? Write it here. Put me on pause for two minutes and prepare yourselves. Then <laughs> you need to listen to this. Remember, you can either listen to it two times like the real exam or listen to it as much as you like to make sure you've got the answer. When you're happy with your answers, restart the lesson, restart the video. I'm going to go through them and tell you what the answers are and we'll look at the transcript. Allons mes petits. Good luck, guys. This is a lot harder when you're ready for the transcript. Restart the video. Bon courage. On y va. Allo mes petits. Over here we've got la transcription. You know what to do. Read through. Pay particular care to what I've highlighted and look out for anything in red. Allo bon courage. Put me on pause. Read through now. Check your answers. Allez. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, let's go through our answers and see what we've got. So let's start with William. Or Guillaume is usually the term for William. There's not many French people called William. They're usually called Guillaume. Alors donc, on y va. Au collège, je n'aime pas la technologie. Okay, that was our example. Done. Then he says, ma matière préférée, c'est le EPS. So he says my favorite subject. But he says it's this, which is PE. It's a trap. He doesn't match the one. Then he says, on commence à 8h30 et on finit normalement à 5h. Guys, that's our first one. William's the one who finishes at 5 o'clock. And he says, mais le soir. What's le soir? This could be one of your extra challenge words to write down. Le matin is the morning. L'après-midi is the afternoon. Le soir is the evening or the night time. So le soir... On a beaucoup de devoirs. We get lots of homework. C'est nul. It's rubbish. So he will be six as well. So guys, for William, you need a tick for two and I need a tick for six. Then these two are gone. Look at what you got left. They should match out other people. Let's say go at Juliette. Alors, Juliette dit, on a deux heures de EPS le mercredi après-midi. Qui veut dire, on a is like one has or we have. We have two hours of PE. On Wednesday afternoon, there we go. Juliette matches down here. This one is gone. What else does Juliette match to? She says, uh, Je n'aime pas manger à la cantine parce que c'est nul. So she's the one who says the canteen food is awful. See what they've done there to try and trick you. You're listening for affreux, which means awful or affreux if it's feminine. But they just say it's rubbish. So you've got to know this is a synonym for this. Right, guys, get rid of the two that we've used. There we go. And then you've just got two left. So let's check. Ahmed should match two. French is my favorite subject. And the teachers are too strict. Let's see what we got. J'ai massé le collège. Mais les profs sont trop sévères. That means the teachers are too strict. And then finally, ma matière préférée, c'est le français. 
Whose isn't? His favourite lesson is French. Et voilà, we got him, guys. Right, Mark, I have six for this for me, please. Bon for me, petit. Hello, guys, and just like last lesson, I've got the overalls for the end of year exam that you're going to be doing next week. Just to give yourself an idea of whereabouts you would have performed today. Today, your mark is out of 12, so see if you can work out your percentage. And if you can keep that up, that will show you whereabouts on these levels you'll be. Guys, a really good effort today. This lesson is slightly shorter because I've set you a lot of homework. So remember, you've got this booklet to go through. We spoke about what you needed to do last time. We talked about going on Memorise and then testing your vocabulary, which is what this activity is all about. I've taken away all the English. You've got to fill this in after being on Memorise to see what you know and then find out what vocab you don't. If you knew all this vocab at the end of year seven, you'd be flying. You've then got a reading section where you need to read through and do some practice questions. You've then got the impossible test so this is everything you need to know to get the top mark in year seven that's what to work through remember you can ignore part four we're not going to do the reading assess uh, the writing assessment during covid All right guys bonne for me petit this yeah this lesson i've only been talking for 25 minutes but you've obviously done listening so yours has been a bit longer it's slightly shorter so you guys can get on this so revise hard because next lesson We'll start with the listen assessment. Can't wait, guys. Sure you can as well. Bon courage, mes petits. On y va.